years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great weekend, folks. The TGIF. In fact, it could be March 17th out here today because everything is green. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 360, Nasdaq's up 236, S&P's up 62, gold contract trading up $9.60 at 1816 an ounce. We got silver up 40 cents, twenty dollars seventy four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two thirty nine, ninety one dollars ninety six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note up six ticks, trading one nineteen oh eight. The thirty year up twenty one at one forty twenty one. And King Dollar, King Dollar's up uh, five hundred and fifty nine ticks, trading at one oh five six forty nine. We have the euro out here at a price point of one oh two. The yen is at one thirty three, and the British pound is trading at one twenty one to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, they're right back up at the highs. Gave it up on price yesterday. The SPY's over it. It's going to come in with light volume, but the bottom line, it's over it. You know, the high of yesterday was uh, 424.95. The bottom line, this thing is shooting for this uh, 429. Uh, that's the, the benchmark here is the 4th, the 4th of uh, May, folks. Um, you know, bottom line is yeah, that level there, by the way, that's 144 million shares, and we've done all of uh, 34 today. You know, now I don't expect the SPY to give it up on price, meaning uh, pull back to this uh, 429, 424 level. So the SPY will not have a failure out here today. The NDX 100. Now, this is a little bit different ball game here. We take a look at the Qs. What you have with the Qs, the Qs are approaching the high of yesterday. The Qs, okay, we gave it up on price, and we gave it up 45 million shares. The Qs will probably do about 35 million. Uh, it hasn't reached the high yet. The high is 330.36. We've hit 329.94. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. Volume contraction in a monster way, no doubt. Now, we're also going, it's the same benchmark. The benchmark is May 4th. That number there is 330.29. Now, it would have been really sweet, actually, if we actually went up and tested that. We haven't done that yet. Uh, bottom line, if we take this and we put this on the weekly, you're going to see, you know, the bottom line is that when it holds price, it holds price, and it'll go for it. Um, and that's still the number. The amount of volume that's going into the supply line is extraordinary. What I want you to also gauge, look at the volumes, okay? Now, we've had a great run. There's no doubt about that. But see the last five weeks? Every one of them, that's a nice trend line down. Let me go back to the SPY. I want to see that in the SPY. It's expected to be the same thing. We take the SPY, put this on the weekly also. Not as bad. See, it's interesting. Like two weeks ago, we went higher with volume. 
So it's not the same setup. Last two weeks have been low, but uh, you know, bottom, bottom, bottom line, this week here, you are gonna have light volume. Gold, gold contract out here. We had gold contract reject lower price today at the 1799 level. Right now, gold's trading out at a price point of 1816, 111,000 contracts. Now that's not bad contract volume. The reason it's not bad is that we actually were testing lows, not the highs. And we get over to King Dollar. Now this is the more de deviant thing, no, no doubt, because you, had, you have a rally going and the bottom line is that the rally is going with the dollar going higher, which is unusual, no doubt about that. What I expect we're going to see here is this. Inside of the dollar, the bottom line is that we broke the trend line and we broke it with conviction, the channel line. We're going to go up and test that channel line. Now, that channel line, the test of the channel line is 106.049. I suspect it looks like to me we're going to test that Monday. So we'll see how that shakes out. If it bangs right through it, then a whole different ball game. Um, you know, we'll see whether it can hold or not. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, and this will be a low. Oh, here, no, let's do the composite. The composite right now, as I brought up in the update, is crucial and the reason being if you're a bull folks okay in the market okay um well th this is still short term too okay in the bull in the market that's fine but the way that this is coming into it so yesterday we did 5.7 billion and when we're going into may 4th which we're going into i let's go get may 4th so i can i think it was 5.4 billion or 5.7 it was the same thing it was a good number man so you can see that 5.7 yesterday, May 4th, 5.4, it was 5.4. So what happens there is that you, you're going into that and you had an expansion of volume, which is awesome. That's how it's supposed to be when price and volume are going. Well, the problem is that what you're going to do out here today is you're going to test it with dramatically lighter volume, man. So it's running out of gas. That's how, that's how this thing works, man. So that's a problem. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, uh, the top of the, the high yesterday was uh, 13,026, and I suspect we're going to get it. Um, and if we get it and then you don't close there, <laughs> that's where the problem comes in because we're only uh, five points away from it right now. So... Depending where you stand, you know, you know, b b bottom bottom line is that I expect what you're going to do is you're going to get a test. And as we said yesterday, I suspect this thing's going to still back down. It's going to back down and fill up those gaps that we have out there. Some of the other higher volume equities out here we have, and it will be a lower volume day. Where are you? Come on. What's that wrong one? Most. There we go. We got, come on. <coughs> you get, uh, let's see, Apple's up three forty nine. dollars You have uh, NVIDIA up $7. DraftKings up one ninety nine. You got Tesla up $37. Uh, Peloton is up uh, one seventy seven. dollars They're laying off some more people. You got Facebook up two sixty nine. dollars um, Yeah, Micron up two ninety. dollars You can see it's all green, man. On Semi's up uh, $4.5. You got Microsoft up three point nine. dollars Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have uh, Workday up 6%, AMAT's up 5%, Micron's up 4.6, Tesla's up 4.3. Taken away from it, Illumina's down 8.7, CGen uh, is down 1.8, Pinduoduo is down 1.7. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, best of you, We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. What's going on, man? Uh, you know, just checking out this market every day, right? Oh, well, see, we got him hooked on the market now, folks. He calls <laughs> me this morning and he said, he tells me, man, I know why people get hooked on the market now. That was a, that was a funny quote, man. It really was. Yeah, ten percent, huh? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, he's up ten percent in three weeks, folks. Yeah, you gotta yeah. love it. I, that's that's beautiful, I man. I don't want to start putting big money there just yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Dow right now, folks, uh, trading up by 371. Nasdaq's up 241. S&Ps are up 64. We're just going to look at the small cap specimen for one of the tigers out here, the IWM. So the IWM right now, folks, this is trading up 370. And, yeah, well, this is, this is, this is ABC up, man. Yep. Check out, check out. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. This is actually running ahead of the whole market, man. It's interesting. Okay, so, well, yeah, the IWM is in good shape, man. I would, if you don't sell the IWM, that's the bottom line. If you're selling short, what kind of uh, company is this? This is this is the it's actually an indice. It's the it's the Russell 2000. So it's 2,000 small stocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it, when I well, when I say small stocks, they're still big stocks compared to you know companies that we know. But um, these are smaller stocks. In general, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, market cap wise, you know. And so, what, what does happen? It gets intriguing, man. What has happened is that the, it always seems like people are always, you know, saying, "Hey, get into small caps," but you know, they haven't really moved for years. No. Yeah. They, they, they've been moves with they've, the markets. They've been lagging for a long period of time. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Kinda so, weird. what's been happening in the real estate market? You know, so it's kind of interesting, right? Because the stock market is up a little bit. Yeah. So these houses that have been staying on the market for a while going under contract again. See, that's cool. You know, isn't so, that sick? So we see these houses, right. they're, they're just right. staying there, and then boom, it's under contract. Right. So it's it's all perception of what's in someone's account. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what it comes down. To. Because now look at this, folks. Okay, this is where you know what Bestos is talking about. You know, I mean, there's plenty of money in, in the market. There's plenty of money in the. Um, IRAs, and when you look at this, watch this. I'm going to put the SPX up, okay? 
And you, you're going to see, I mean, the bottom line is that from the high, okay, to the low, it's already done a 50% retracement. So if we go back, now this is another way of looking at it. We go back to last, yeah, to so last July. Yeah, so last July, that's where we were last July. That's not bad. Not bad. No. That's not that's not bad, man. That's well, we not know bad. We just kind of took off, huh? Uh, late last year, beginning of this year. Well, look, you can see this. This is this is a one-way run. <laughs> this went from 3,200 up to 4,900. Isn't that wild? And then went south very quickly. Yeah, yeah. so you can see how real estate and this is kind of they're moving. They're, they're, they're definitely connected. Yeah. They're definitely connected. I think people are just a little bit more confident, huh? I remember in um, 1987, well, I've told you the story, okay? And what happened in 87, folks, you had the crash. Now, you had the crash and it came right back. That being said, what happened approximately 14, 15 months later, the whole real estate market crashed. And it crashed as bad as 2007 in Boston, New York, Florida, Dallas, Texas, Houston, and Alaska. Because that's when, what, and what happened then is that I remember I had offices up in Alaska at that point, and I remember sitting there, and oil was $10.12 a barrel. Wow. That crashed, too. And when that crashed, everything crashed. It, it, and at first, what it, what it did is this. It took out Dallas and Houston first, because I was down there looking to buy real estate. And I remember sitting with this guy, and he was explaining to me, that everything was great, and now I couldn't even go out to eat. And I couldn't even comprehend that. Wow. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that was someone, right? and then guess what? About six months later, I could comprehend it, man, because that thing came into Boston and went whack. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. That, it, was that, it was that dramatic, folks, okay? So let me ask you this. Do you think this is what's happening now, where we get a little bounce and then... So no, it's not the same thing, because what, what, what we have now... Well, I think this is a bounce, but I think the market has bottomed, okay? So um, it's not the same thing. And the biggest part of it is that properties, well, it depends where you are. Properties here cash flow in a huge way. Yeah. That's the bottom well, line. The rents are insane. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's no doubt. There's no it's doubt. It's like we're, we're in New York City or something. Right. <laughs> and hey, listen, while you're not talking about New York City, hey, come here. We're going to bring this up. Okay. Listen, folks, okay? If you, this is a tiger. This is one of our tigers out here. Odd Fellows ice cream. Now check this out, man. This is so freaking cool. It's insane. So this guy's. In, well, let me see where I, he's in Brooklyn. He's in Tampa Bay. He's in um, North Carolina, and it's it's one of the tigers. And check this website out, folks. It's Odd Fellows. Uh, ice. Just just Google Odd Fellows ice cream. Let me see what I put in there. I put. I I can't see that close. Let me see. Oh, Odd Fellows NYC, New York City. He started in Brooklyn, man. Um, and the ice cream's amazing. He came by this week. His father came by, gave us some ice cream. Oh, the yeah. freezer's full upstairs, <laughs> man. Um, and this, so what this is called also, by the way, folks, this is super premium ice cream. That's, that's what it is, okay? And super premium ice cream, I'm going to have to get Moham on. We'll get, we'll get him on to explain, because they make this ice cream. He's got super the... Super premium, huh? Yeah, and it has to do with the uh, um, amount of air that goes in it. Like, um, like a Ben & Jerry's is a super premium. Okay. A, um, uh, a Cold Stone is super premium. I yeah, see. so it's, it's really cool, man. Just check it out. And you can, you can order it online, and they'll get it delivered, man. But... Uh, we, well, the bottom line is he might be coming, you know, we're going to see if we can find him a, a nice uh, spot down in St. Pete. Yeah, that'd be you know? nice. Yeah. Yeah, right on first you know? though, huh? And this is something he's really put together, and it's really, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's really cool, actually. Looks really good, yeah. It is. I think we need some right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. It's upstairs. Right. Yeah. So you know what we're going to do at the break, too? Uh, Best is going to bring up the MLS folks, okay? So we can go through just a couple... Um, um, technicals on the MLS to show you what we look at every morning, meaning that, you know, we're going to look through how many are on the market, how many are pending, how many are sold, how many price reduced, um, you know, so you, you can get a gauge because it's, it's, I find that if you have your hand on the pulse, okay, and that's my better half's Bridget, that's her saying, and it's a freaking great saying. Yeah. 
Real estate is easier than the market, man. Yeah. It really is, okay? Because the difference is that, number one, there's not as many people that have their hand on the pulse as to, you know, what is something actually worth. Um, and you don't have as much pushing and tugging and, you know, you don't have as many computers yeah. running the market. No, for yeah. sure, yeah. I mean, and then we're going to buy a stock, too. Yeah. He's getting in the pot business, folks. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's to go after Canopy. Yeah. There we go. Exactly. I can't wait. So. Exactly. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, no. The, Is your name Elon Musk, man? Elon Musk, yeah. <laughs> we need a joint in here, right? <laughs> Got our tiger cup here. That's right. There That's right. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 352. Nasdaq's up 235. S&P's up 62. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Healy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us up there. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 367. Nasdaq's up 244. S&Ps are up 64. Tommy O'Brien, I love you. <laughs> Papa loves you. He's watching TV. He's right. watching us. <laughs> baby shock a doo doo, baby shock a doo doo, baby shock a doo doo, daddy shock a doo doo, mommy shock a doo doo, Tommy shock a doo doo. There we go. <laughs> you gotta love it. He's, he's gonna have his own show soon. He's huh? gonna have his own show, man. He's going into it. Uh, that's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Okay, so here, let's. Why don't you take this over? We're gonna go into the uh, MLS, folks, so MLS, you can see huh? what we look at. Um, so oh, this this is good. Here, let me just go over this too. One of the tigers is tell, telling us. So, in the Odd Fellows ice cream, folks, premium ice cream has less overrun, which is the air whipped into the ice cream. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much, man. 
Okay, so isn't that, yeah, so we're bringing this up, folks, so you can take a look at what we look at every day. So basically, here we are. You know, can you blow that up all the way? Let's yeah, see there we go. Beautiful. I'll look bigger or not. Yeah, that's it. So the first one, that's new listings. new listings. Do we have that on how many days? That's last 24, 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah. New listings, 1492, yep. sold 741. And pending 931. Right. And what's the price decreases? Price decrease, we have 1284. Yeah. And so, that's a monster, folks, okay? Yeah. I mean, before, you know, We'd, 200 was like max right. in the last few years. Right. Now we're seeing up to, you know, 15. And then now let's bang that on to like a three day. Three days. There we go. There we go. So you got new listings, 42. Now this is Pinellas County, folks, okay? Well, this is actually uh, the whole Central Florida. So we get Orlando, uh, Tampa, oh, it is. Clearwater, yeah. So all these new listings. Okay. So when you click on it, we'll see. That we're going to hit all of these. Holy right. cow, that's huge, man. I, yeah. I got You know it. what's funny about this is before we were seeing a lot more new listings in Orlando. Okay than the Tampa Bay area, but yeah. now we're seeing a lot more in the Tampa Bay area. Interesting. But there's also more sold in the Tampa Bay area than the Orlando area. So okay. you know, I'm not sure what's going on there. It just, you know, who wants to live in the middle of? A lot of people. <laughs> I mean, I, I, listen, man, I know there, there's evidently so much, you know, go, yeah, there's, there's, the people love the Tampa, I mean, the, the, the Orlando area. area. And we yeah. know they do. Yeah. And it's just so right. much harder too. And then you want to blow up to seven days? Yeah. Let's do seven days. Here, and so. so the consistency of this is they're doing it every day, folks, so you can kind of get a feel. Do you know what I mean? As yeah, to, so the seven days, I mean, new listings, 7,100, yeah. and sold only 41. Yeah, and then, ooh. So that, that means that we have 3,000 more. That's right. Basically, that's going to be on the market. And that price decrease is 7,000 also. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. So picture this, folks, okay? This... This has gone up dramatically in two or three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, really, it, it it's, has. It's going up, and, you know, so we'll see what happens here. But, you know, some of these properties that were uh, just sitting there for a right. while, right. they're going under the contract. So, you know, like, let's see here. This is our area here. Yeah. This is our little playground, folks. Yeah. Now we're looking at St. Petersburg. That's that's the bottom line. St. Petersburg, you see, there's not much for sale here. So, just explain to them though. What, what hap what's happening, folks? You, the green ones are for sale. Green ones for sale. Right. The red ones are sold. Right. And the uh, orange one, they're, they're under contract. Right. Yeah. Right. So. So we're always looking at that. Whoops. All right, who grabbed that? Um, but yeah, no. There's uh, so this one. You know, we had this one. This one was for sale for a while. Okay. You know, it's way up there in price. Yeah. Now, now I just went under the contract. Second half. So. Can you pull it up? Can we see it? Yeah. The whole listing? Oh, yeah, right. This is the one that had a couple different prices on it, right? Yeah, it went up and down. So it's uh, finally on the contract. And? Big price for square foot, though. Wait, wait, I cannot see it. 555. 555. And that's Palmetto Park, right? Yeah. That's 555. So. Yeah, that's pretty intense. So, well, that would yeah. make sense, though, because, yeah, that would make sense, except the new ones, that would be 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2 million. Yeah, yeah you should right. be getting 1. Uh, right, 1. 1. 1. 2, 1. 1.2. Right, 1.1, 1.2, right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is basically every day. We're just on here. Let's see what pop, pops up. Check the whole Tampa Bay. Right. Now we're down in Bradenton, too. Right. All the way up to Crystal River. Right. Because what's happening in Bradenton, can you bring up Bradenton for a second? What's happening in Bradenton, folks, and this is applicable to the public markets, right? You just took a ride down there. Now, was it, what What builder was it? Was oh, D.R. Uh, Horton. D.R. Horton, okay, yeah, right. So he's building a couple, couple hundred uh, homes around here. Right? Yeah. Or now, what was interesting, folks, is this. That's how the, most, the big builders do. I mean, they want to go in with 100, 200 homes. But what's happening with D.R. Horton down here is that because the well, people want to be there, they are doing infill. So an infill means that you're doing one or two at a time also, which is really different. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? For large, especially for a large builder, because what ends up happening, you know, it's a lot, it's not harder doing it, but your price spread is more 
well, your costs are more expensive when you're doing one or two versus, you know, 50. I mean, yeah. that, that's the bottom line. I mean, they they got to build out this whole infrastructure too, right? Yes. So they're building all of this here. They already built this out. Okay. It's pretty much sold. And, uh, you know, this is where the pirates play. Yep. So not a bad uh, area. No, there. it's not. So, and then the lot you were looking at though was flood area, right? Is that what's going on? Uh, it's six five hundred. Okay, so in this area here. Yeah. Um, so we got to see what. The yeah. So let's do there. this. I want to bring up D. H. Horton. Let's go see what this thing looks like, man. Okay. So where are where? Oh yeah. Why not? We'll see what these. Uh, Check it out. Was it D. R.? Yep. Okay. So. It's trading 79.38. The low flea is 59. The high is 110. I mean, yeah. So we're going <laughs> the, back up, huh? These all, so picture, this had a low of uh, 50, $59 at 79. Now let's bring this, put this on a three year weekly. Yeah, but you can see, okay, this is a counter trend bounce. So the way you can see this is down from 110 here. So we're going to do best for this. We use these Fibonacci sequences. And so we want to know what is the retracement. And right now, it's at 0.382 of the move. So a 0.382 retracement can be a dead cat bounce. You, know, you don't know. That's the real bottom line. But it's a very weak retracement thus far. So okay. let's say if you get down 10 points and you go up, 3.8, that's a 3.38. Five O's, you go five, 0.618. So those are the three major ones we actually use. And you can see on, on this one, folks, you can see, you know, the bottom line is that you're coming into uh, 19 million. And uh, that, you know, the first week up there, we had 22, which is nice. See, this is applicable right here, folks, as to even where the broad market is right now. Because you see how the, a month ago, we went up there with 22 million. Then three weeks ago, you did 16 million. Then last week, we did 13 million. Then this week, you're going to do nine. That stock's going to go back down. I see. You see, you so see, that's the volume, huh? That's the volume. That's and, and look at this. And that's a high volume low. So this is a great example, folks, okay, of the out of time in the trade and price and volume. See. So yeah. what do you think is going to go down to? Right, high volume. See that high volume low? Yeah. Goes right back down to 70, out of $59. Crazy. Well, we'll see. You we'll know, see. no one has a crystal ball. We'll see, but that's how that's set up. I you know, see. you're always looking for where the price and volume basically meet. Yeah. Um, and that's true market. But yeah. Dow Industrials right now at 356. We get the Nasdaq up 249. S&P's up 64. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 376. We get the NASDAQ up 244. S&Ps are up uh, 64. You know, one of the targets they're saying in here, uh, you know, uh, is this the, a late inning sugar rush? That's a great analogy, folks. <laughs> yeah, I would I'd agree with that. We'll see whether that's the case, but that is definitely a great analogy. So when we're talking about best, best advisor stock every week, right now, folks, he's up uh, about 10%. In yeah. three weeks, not, yeah, bad. not bad. And, you know, that also, is, yeah, no, I don't want to crush you, but that also <laughs> says, no, that says quite a bit about the market also. Yeah. If you can be up by 10% in three weeks, you're sitting there saying, oh my God, yeah. like, no wonder why people are in the market, right? Yeah. Well, that's not how it normally works, okay? No, no, for sure, yeah. So, what he's going to buy this week, he's going to buy Canopy Growth. And, you know, this is an equity that got absolutely toasted, roasted. Uh, you know, this is in the, they're in the pot business, the legal pot business. The low is $2, the high is 19 Wow. Um, I know. Let, they have, let's look at the revenue. Now, watch this. So, their revenue for the year, they're going to be $496 million. Now, they're still losing money. They're going to they're expecting them to do $119 million this quarter, and they're going to lose $0.26. Cents. The cool thing about this company is that if you're a believer in the business of pot in general, is that, see this right here, that this CBG holdings, okay, 21%, and then Green Star underneath that with 11, 13%, both of those are actually Constellation Brands, which is one of the biggest liquor companies in the world. Constellation Brands is a uh, uh, Modella, oh, which I is, uh, you know, so it's great having, um, a vice company that they used to selling, you know, booze yeah. in the pot business because I suspect when this gets bigger, this is going to be about branding too. It's, def it's definitely not about branding right now, folks. But I suspect as that matures, it's going to be about branding. Um, you know, we'll we'll see how this is going to shake out. What's going to happen in Florida? Florida went uh, medical marijuana. I don't know, three or four years ago, maybe. Yeah. And um, it's going to be on the ballot. I guess in two years, uh, True Leaf, which was one of the biggest companies uh, in the business, they're supporting. Yeah, you know, someone else got to put up the put up the money to get this on the ballot uh -huh. because you need all the signatures and all that. So that's going to be in Florida in 2024. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's bring up uh, your TD account and yeah. uh, let's, let's let's give this. it hell, yeah, man. So is somebody going to affirm on this? <laughs> we, it, 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 last week, that was pretty wild, folks, in uh, uh, Anglo Ashanti, uh, the amount of uh, shares that actually came in. So how do we do this again? Um, uh, yep, you're just going to go to, the, 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 we're going to go to trade. Trades. We're going to go to, uh, i got to see from here, trade, 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 oh. trade, trade. Can you see where it says, just put in a trade? Okay, well, Maybe we'll do- we'll just look it up? No, no, you don't have to. I, I, I know the symbol, I just I can't see. 
Okay, one second. Oh, yes, you're going to be history now, man. Everyone's, everybody's going, everyone's going to front run him now, man. Okay, let's see. Trade, trade. Uh, Where's that? Is no, we want to put in an auto. Where? Oh, trade. trade. It's Isn't weird, it? huh? What? Well, no, we got to get you on the other platform. I know the other platform upside down. That's okay. the think a swim platform. We're on the. I see. We'll find it. Sorry about that. We will find it. We'll get this at the break, and we'll be we'll be ready, willing, and able, <laughs> no doubt. So, hey, um, what has happened also, though, right? You're still having a tough time. You just put an incentive in for an extra five thousand dollars to sell those, right? Yeah, yeah. So, no, so, so tell tell them about that. So not only that, but we also gave them um, seven thousand for to buy down the rates. So you're twelve thousand. Yeah. So let's walk me through that. Tell me what happened. So now, this is in Kenwood, right? Yeah. 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 So basically, uh, we're giving a bonus to the realtor to okay. sell the house. Right. So an extra bonus of five thousand. Okay. On top of their commission. And and why is that? Uh, you know, just to give them an incentive to push more for it. Right. You know, or, to try to that, sell it. Because more brokers will try to sell it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Because uh, right. you're like, hey, I'll make more money for right. selling this one. Exactly. You know, because just push check this out, bit. folks. Okay, so you know it used to be like six percent, right? And then it's been five percent for a long time. And it still can be six. Some people are greedy, but they're never going to get anything, okay? Because yeah. it's two and a half on each side. What? But but the best is saying, and this makes a difference, man. Because these realtors are a trip, man. They'll kill you for two dollars. <laughs> they really will, right? <laughs> Sorry, realtors, but you're in a, you're in a kind of strange breed, man. <laughs> the truth, man. Um, so, given five grand is a big number. Yeah. And then, on, on so talk, talk and then, so the buy down, the buy down is happening a lot around here, folks. The buy down, explain what the buy down is. So, basically, at this price point, uh, to buy down half a percent right. interest is about seven grand. Okay. So, that's what we're offering. So, you know, if your interest rate was at five, right. now you can get it at four and a half. That you're going to see a lot of that, folks. And if you are out in the marketplace, right, if you don't see it, talk to them about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I we have a builder that we're putting a package together. He's going to buy down like big numbers. Man. Yeah. Yeah. 20 grand. And he hasn't even started yet. <laughs> you know, but so, so the, the cool thing there, that, that's in his business plan, though. Then yeah. right at the bat. Do you know what I mean? But what, what I'm seeing too right now with a lot of people is if you see deals out there that have been on the market for longer than a week or two, right. you can go negotiate. Right. Yeah. And people are scared right now. Right. And I don't know why. I think the last few years they were scared to like even think about going under the price because they're always paying more. Okay. So now they're kind of stuck. But if you see something on the market, you can go out there and get a great deal. Right. Yeah. Right. And just ask for it. Yeah, right. That, that's right. the bottom line. Yeah. And you know what? What does happen, folks, is that they, uh, as Bessa just said, if you see something that's on the market for like twenty days, man, I don't care if they basically say they want. Let's say they want eight hundred grand, man. Well, go to six fifty. I'm telling you, that's what to do. Yeah. You know. And now watch what happens. This is what happens, folks. This is how markets also go up and down, because what happens is that you're actually driving the price down. You know, you can drive it up, you can drive it down. And this is how important perception is of everyone. Yeah. You know, because what was it? You, you had a broker that, remember that he's saying, no, 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 I don't think we should buy it now because it prices go down more. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's what the, the psyche inside of that housing market right now is like that. Yeah. And if it stays like that long enough, they'll drive it down another five or 10 percent. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's that's the reality. And then, you know, it, it always comes back to cash flow wise. That's that's that that is where things stabilize out. And if they cash flow, man, guess what? They cash flow and it's an investment. You know? Yeah, no, I think that's one of the reasons why the market is uh, the housing market is so very strong down right. there. Because the, the rents are so high. Exactly. It just makes more sense to buy something. Right. The, the, the rent. Or, yes. you know, you can buy an investment and make money. Right. Yeah. And then, of course, what ends up happening, if they don't, you know, that's where the, that whole egg and, you know, chicken goes, man. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because it's like, okay, you don't, then the builders don't build more houses, then the rent gets even higher as soon as you get a little uptick, you know? Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Best for now, coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 392, NASDAQ's up 249, SP's up 67. We'll come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 389. Nasdaq's up 247. S&Ps are up 66. Okay, baby, hit that. Uh, we got that order placed up there, folks. And let's see. Go through. Yeah, what does it say? Yeah, yeah. I, it's so small. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. in there. It's, it's in there. there. It, it'll yeah. pop up. It'll okay, pop up. Right. Auto status. We'll get it. So, so yeah, and also, so what do you own right now? All right, let's see what we own. Apple. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then VGZ. Vista Gold, and, and then uh, Ang Anglos. Yeah, and. If we pull these up, you're going to see, and the first one was Apple. That was three weeks ago. So oh, That went up good. <laughs> exactly. Look at that, man. That's 5, 10, like 15. So. I think I bought it at 154. Okay. And you're at 171, right? Yeah. Then we got uh, Anglo. And this one here, you're probably just even with this. Someone yeah, that's five days ago. A bit on it, so okay. Yeah. And Vista, you're probably up a couple pennies. Yeah, I think that one's... So, yeah, it looks like the same thing. And then, so here we go. You get you get yourself a portfolio, man. Yeah, well, it's all green for right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. And, and overview. There we go. I'm up twenty two eighty seven. Twenty two eighty seven on uh, yeah. So you're up nine point nine percent of something because it's on yeah. two hundred thirty eight dollars, I think, right? Yeah. 
not no, bad. It's not bad, man. It's <laughs> not bad. And listen, folks, over the weekend, uh, if you go to the main page of TFNN, you're going to see if you happen to be having interest in the metal market, okay, we have a promotion going right now that you can get 50% off the goal report. Uh, now, what does happen is that the bottom line, if it doesn't work for you, you know, the first 30 days, well, you get all your money back. You know, so check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, you know, we have a market. There's no doubt about that. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health tappers and prosperity. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.